Now let us take a look how this process is working in a shell machine to make an endless loom at once. You make a double layer of fabric on that uh, machine. The double layer fabric on a shuttle machine is like that one. We have to create some kind of a loop. This is the fabric. And we start with a weft insertion. For example, from the, from the right side, we make a weft insertion. Only with those warp ends which are belonging to the upper layer. We have an upper layer and a lower layer. And when we return, make the next weft insertion, shuttle is here now on the left side, shuttle goes back to the right side. And then we do this, we make the weft insertion, we make the interlacing between weft and warp ends only those warp ends which are belonging to the lower layer of that one. And the point is, when we use a shuttle machine, the shuttle machine do not cut the weft after insertion. It just turns around and continues to insert the material this way. And here again, it doesn't cut. What does that mean? I get an uncut circumferential weft insertion. If I unfold that fabric, I got an uncut in sequential material. And this is this is the endless loop. I put a roller in here, I put a roller in here. This is the width of a forming fabric, you can put it under tension, and I have an endless loop. The only thing I have to consider is that at this turning point here and here, you have to take care for different warp spacings. You can handle that. I am working with the reed, making them a little bit more spread at the reed. You, in the reed, you make it a little bit more with bigger spaces so that the effect of crimp of the fabric is even out that bigger spaces. And you get, after some trials, you will get that. You get a very homogeneous fabric, which is, for example, a plain weave on all sides. So, to give you an idea how the weft insertion is working, we have a definition in the weaving industry. If we uh, start to work with more than one layer, if we have a two layer fabric, this is a two layer fabric, I most often find that the upper layer is red, and the lower layer is blue. So, this is what the people here in the international. So, when I make a red sign, that means those fibers are. When I make the blue layer, lower layer fibers. Here, if I take a look to this process, weft insertion in the upper layer, and if we try to get a, a view to the cross section of that material, we would have it this way. Here is the fabric, upper layer, and this is the shed of the upper layer. This is the weft insertion. And those of lower layer, which are here, are not building any shed. They are completely going down to the lower shed. So for a plain weave, I would rise only 25% of the warp ends. The other 25% belonging to the upper layer is in the lower shed, and the remaining 50% of my warp material is belonging to the lower material, com going completely down. No weave in this blue, just going completely down. Only the weave is created, it's only here. This is the upper layer weft insertion. The lower layer weft insertion is very similar to that. If I make a lower layer weft insertion, I still have the upper material there. This is the fabric lower layer. I make a shed formation for my lower layer warp ends. And what do I do with the upper layer? They are completely going in the upper shed. No 
only for the upper layer threads. So that means I got a separation without any connection between the two layers. Here, that weft insertion is only interlacing with lower layer wall pads. And that weft insertion is only interlacing with upper layer wall pads. Resulting into a tubular structure that can only be done with a shuttle machine. This is the only possibility to do it. And that is an advantage because if you manage the spacing problem on the site, you get a completely homogeneous and strong material. It's nothing more strong than that one if you start to get tension here because you have uncut fibers here. By the way, many other textile materials, technical textile applications, could benefit from this kind of material. I think it's not really detected until now. 